In this demonstration, we will show how BPC can provide a solution for the need to quickly adjust either a new or existing forecast. When doing forecasts, the frequent concern is making updates in a short period of time and keeping track of comments and the rationale for those changes. Forecasts that have either been created in BPC or loaded into BPC from Excel from another forecast system can quickly and easily be updated with full comments on changes. We're going to demonstrate the functionality in BPC for doing that. We're going to work with a pre-existing forecast in BPC for the 2017 Italian sales revenue, what we're looking at now. When determining what adjustments need to be made to the forecast, we want to do a quick look to the last two quarters of actual data, second and third quarter, for sales revenue by product. To do that, we'll flip over to a blank tab and I'm going to create a report here. We like to see products, so I'm dragging that into cell A2. We like to see two quarters, 2017 Q2 and Q3. I will label those. As you can see, once BPC has an intersection of rows and columns, it will fill in the appropriate data from the database. We'd like a variance column, so I'll add that and enter a formula beneath for variance. C2 minus B2 divided by B2. And we would like to look at all product lines, so I'll double click on product lines and expand that. Now we have our product lines and a variance calculation. We'd like to go ahead and look at the individual months now that we've seen the variance by quarters. So I'll remove this and to expand this, I'm going to highlight the two quarters here. Go to expand here in the EPM ribbon. Make this children, meaning one level down from the parent. Clicking expand, now we have detail by month. So this is how you do a quick ad hoc analysis and the real value of this is that it can be done by anyone within the organization with just a small amount of training. And the data is coming from a central database so it should be your most current and accurate data that your end user is looking at here. So now we want to make some changes to the forecast. Go back to the forecast page and there are two things we want to do here. Product one we've been told the market prices will be increasing 5%, so we want to adjust the forecast for that. And the other change we've been given is that for product two, the number of units for the quarter should go up from 1920 to 2000. Okay, so let's make the first change in the 5% increase in price. So going down to the rates per unit, I'm highlighting the three months that we want uh, increase uh, that we, that we want to increase the prices uh, by 5% here. You'll see the total is 820. We can click this button up here and then wait. So we have 820. What we can do is specify to change that by 5%. Then click OK and we'll see it's 820 now, uh, turn to 861. Second thing we want to do is increase the number of units for product 2. So highlight the 
fourth quarter number of units sold for product two. Notice we have 1920. Click the spread trend weight box, select spread. and then change the source value here to 2000. Then to keep the same ratio of the existing numbers, we take the, we take the existing destination values and copy that to the weighting box here. Then click the overwrite existing values because we don't want to add 2000. We just want to replace 1920 with 2000. Then click OK. You can now notice we've increased the units in the fourth quarter, maintaining the same ratio for the forecast. We're going to enter the comment here in the fourth quarter for units sold for product two. I've clicked on that box and I'm going to the comments here and want to add a comment. What you notice about the comments is you have several things. You have priority, which is basically an indicator for the comment, which is searchable, and you can run reports by it. The actual comment text you can enter here. Increased fourth quarter uh, to uh, 2,000 units. You can enter a keyword, which is also searchable. You can put in units, revenue, uh, any kind of keyword you'd like to use. And then the comment can be linked to the active cell, the context, the context favorite, which is like a shortcut, or custom context. So all of these can have the specific comment linked to it and be searchable by these things. So I will save the comment and it'll tell us where it's saved and the status one item here. It's not showing up yet, but once we do a refresh, now we'll see like a standard Excel comment indication looking at this worksheet here. You can also go into the admin section and run reports of all the comments that have been entered by various criteria. Hopefully this will show you how BPC can be used to adjust or comment on new or existing forecasts.